Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here. We are back on Ark Survival Evolved with some more Mega Monster Share yeah, freaking boy. We're back here with all the giant creepy madness stuff. You know what? This series has been it's been really good. I've really enjoyed it of just the absolute madness and craziness of all the creatures we've had. We also got cupcake and stuff. We got a Tilly. We got a freaking Godzilla Mothra like it's pretty bad, isn't it, Tiller? It really is. So we're back, and as I said last episode, we're gonna do we're gonna blast out a couple of hybrids. We're actually gonna do four today, and they're gonna be four big, big ones, like some of the crazy shit. Because the series is coming to an end, there's probably just a handful of episodes left before we wrap this one up for good. We're just gonna like, like I said, get through these as quick as we can. So we're gonna do four S type creatures. Now we're gonna do three of them the carnivores so we're going to do the uteranus the managama and the snow owl which sounds interesting i don't think we've done that one the one i'm most excited for scorpion verazino and a leech a leech yeah you heard me correctly then we've got a giga a stego and a sarco and then this one just sounds all kinds of madness basilisk reaper and an eel and it's a, a water creature. Oh, man, I can't wait. We're probably going to do them two in the second half to keep you all in suspense and waiting. So what we'll do, we'll do the normal stuff. We'll do one at a time. We'll have a look at it. We'll take it down to fight. Uh, obviously, then we'll grab the taxidermy because we need to fill the room out because we obviously last, uh, last hybrid episode, we added a new section where we uh, whacked in the beaver golem. The whatever the titties you were <laughs> and the hyena dot horse so yeah we can whack another three bad boys in our little museum thingamabob which is it's kind of it's weird to see how this is growing and stuff it's really cool so uh yeah that's gonna be plan of action today so that's gonna be uh probably the most of the hybrids done we've probably got one or two more left and then obviously we just got maybe another scp and another kaiju one left but the series is nearly done, boys. It's going to be emotional to see it go because we've put in a lot of hard work to get all these hybrids and stuff. So, before we start, if you do enjoy the episode at any point, if you've loved the series, make sure you are whacking a like on it. Obviously, that shows you support. And then, you know, if I see a lot of likes on it, I will do something similar to this, maybe another hybrid uh, series in the future. Make sure you're subscribing as well so you don't miss any videos. Um, make sure you follow all social medias. We're very close to 10,000 followers on uh, Instagram. So we can ever go follow Instagram. Get your mum and your dad and your dog and your goldfish to follow the Instagram. That would uh, that'd be awesome. And then question of the day. So chocolate. What is, what are you, what's your take on chocolate? Because me, myself, I have chocolate maybe once in a blue moon. Like I really don't care for it. But then you have, like, you know, uh, the chocoholics, as some people call them, or they call themselves. The people that just love chocolate all the time. Like, they just, they'll see a bar of chocolate. Like, bro, I need that. I need to eat that. So where are you on the chocolate spectrum? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, so what do we want to start with first? I say we do the UT, the Managama, and the Snow Owl. Then we'll do the Giga, Stego, and Sarko. I think we'll do them two uh, first. Then we'll do the Leech, and then we'll finish up with the Basilisk, the Reaper, and the Eel. Even that picture there looks freaking insane. All right. Let me grab the first one, and I'll meet you all in a sec. Okay, here we go. So let's get to our little spot just down here. Hey, Mr. Godzilla, you're looking pretty massive today. Uh, I'm not sure how big this dude's going to be. Let's pop him in front. So let's give him a quick read then. So UT Managama Snarl. Create a UT Managama Snarl. This will let you have a hybrid called a Glassaventor. This hybrid inherits DNA from three different creatures that live in the same biome. Uh, it's naturally cold and like the Snarl can encapsulate itself and other friendlies around it. Not as effective as the Snarl, but can still do it. Okay, so it's... Hmm. So I'm going to guess. Here we go. It's going to be a snow owl body with... Instead of feathers, it's going to be like fluff from the UT and a managama head, maybe? Or maybe a managama body with feathers. Hmm. I feel like the UT and the snow owl are going to... They're not going to complement each other. But let's have a look then. So three, two, one. Boom. 
Oh, oh, we got a weird color. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Okay, we got an orange dude. I was expecting you to be white. Okay. I did not expect to have the UT body. All right. It's a giant chicken. <laughs> it's a giant chicken with a dog head is what it looks like. So we have the UT body. We have some feathers here from the snow owl. We have feet from the snow owl. Was that the Managama feet? I don't know. They all look the same. Obviously, we have the Managama head with little bits of uh, snow owl there. All right. Um, hmm. Look-wise, then. You know what? If we didn't have any of them three creatures in the game and you popped this dude down and said, hey, this is the new creature, Featherwolf, I think he would fit into Ark pretty well, you know? That's actually a really nice design. I'm going to give... You know what? I'm not going to give it a rating until we've done um, the moves and stuff. Right, I'm going to guess it needs a UT saddle, right? But let me have a look. So, glass. No, I reckon it needs a UT saddle. Let me go and grab one of them. And then we'll take him down there and just see what kind of moves and uh, stuff he does. Yeah, so it was just the normal UT saddle, which makes sense. Although it doesn't quite fit on his noggin. All right, let's see then. So, yeah, obviously... The Uteratus rig, we move around like the UT and all that stuff. So let's have a look. There's the left click. Is the UT bite. Right click. Uh, is that a raw? Uh, encapsulated regen. Oh, we're losing stamina. So I'm guessing that's meant to heal us. Uh, see? Oh, there's the Managama Ice Breath. Okay. And an X, which is a raw. All right, do we do anything else? Oh, control, shift, space. Oh, wow. Oh, we jump. We jump good. Okay, Mr. Frog, are you a regular frog that we can probably bite? You are. Amazing. Let me give you a little nibble. All right. I want to do this, though. Okay. Remember, we are just a level one, uh, like all hybrids are. All right. Half decent. Half decent. So did we lose any health care? Health kind of going up too quick. But if I right click, does it go up any quicker? We with full health already. Um, all right. So there's nothing overly special about it. There's nothing like, like we can't fly, right? We, we glide? No. Um, all right. It's just a, it's one of them ones where it's just like, yeah, that's just a good hybrid. It's not pulling up any roots, like it's not, I don't know. It's not making me go, wow, it's just kind of like, hmm, yeah, that's a decent one. Uh, Attack-wise and stuff, they're pretty neat. So it can regen health and obviously allies nearby. Um, and he got a long distance and a short distance attack. So, honestly, rating-wise, a very solid... 8.9. I don't want to give it a 9. I'm going to give it an 8.9 because I'm just horrible like that. All right. This one I'm a little bit more excited for than the UT one because it's it's got a Giga. We all love the Giga, don't we? You know, Mr. Mister I'm OP as shit, dude. So let's give uh, him a read then. So create a Giga Stego Saga hybrid. This will let you have a hybrid called a Macros uh, Draco. Yeah, that word. A giant carnivore with Stegosaurus plates that run through from its snout to its tail. It also has a giant Phagomizers. What the frick is that? It used to haul giant rocks at enemies. Wait, we can throw rocks? None of them creatures throw rocks. What's a Phagomizer? Wait, no, isn't the Phagomizer the tail of the Stego, actually? I'm going to have to Google this. I was right. A Phagomizer, however you pronounce it, is the, the tail of a Stego. I am a dinosaur genius, man. I remember stuff from it as a kid. All right, <laughs> let's bring this one out then. So uh, what we're we going to say it's going to look like. So I reckon it's going to be on four legs. It's going to be on four legs. It's going to have a massive... looks like it's going to have the Giga face. I don't know, you know what, let's just do it. Three, two, one, boom, here we go. All right, it's not on four legs. It is not on four legs. Let's have a look at you. Holy titty mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, wow, you kind of look a bit like um, 
Godzilla, the uh, the American Godzilla. All right, where's the uh, where's the Sarko in this? <laughs> This looks like a Giga mixed with a Stego. I'm not seeing any um, any Sarko at all right now. May is he got a longer snout, maybe? No, that's definitely the Godzilla. The was it 2000 Godzilla or whatever it is, the American one. That is definitely that Godzilla, right? 100%. Okay, all right. Uh, so look wise, I'm not seeing the Sarko in it. So, oh god, he has a messed up shoulder. Oh, he has a little messed up shoulder this side. So yeah, I'm not seeing any Sarko in it. So he loses points for that at the minute. But I mean, looks, it does look pretty amazing. I do kind of like that. Alright, let's get you down then. And oh, what saddle are you going to use? Oh, we don't need a saddle. Even better. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Boom. Alright, I keep nearly falling to my death because I forget we're not on Genesis anymore. Uh, we do have full damage. Yeah, okay, so yeah, his shoulder is full on messed up. He looks like he's dislocated his right arm here. <laughs> but yeah, it's Godzilla. It is full on Godzilla. So let's have a look. So left click. There's a bite. Very, like, chumpy bite. I'm going to guess this is one of the earlier hybrids because it's not the same level as the other ones. I'm going to guess this is an earlier one, which is fine. So right click. It's a tail swipe. See? Ooh. All right, I hear you. And then... Oh, that was the Stego Shake. Uh, what? How do we throw stuff? What's that? Oh, oh. That was control. How about other control? I'm not sure how... It says we can, like, launch a rock, but I'm not sure how one does that. Uh, oh, oh, what's this up here? Titanium plates, uh, 30 plus damage resistance. Okay. Can I fight you? Uh, yeah. No. Oh, God. Don't don't aggro to me, please. I don't want to fight you because I'm not sure how strong I am and I've not got a taxidermy myself. Not now, though. Oh, I can't ride him. I'm not close enough to ride him. There we go. Right, I need to munch on some. Just a normal creature, please. No, no crazy special stuff. Is it unlike the Giga? We actually um, have decent stam. Uh, you're normal, right? So let's do a left click. Damn, seven eight. Eh? Okay, we're strong. We are strong, which is good. Right, let's do a right click. Five hundred. I love that raw though. That raw is cool. Okay, this is an alpha one. Probably shouldn't have fought this one, but that's okay. So X. Oh, yeah, that's the titanium thing. I wanna... So control, it looks like it might stab him. You know, like, uh, pierce him, like the Stego. Which makes me think this isn't an old hybrid, because the Stego didn't get updated that long ago, right? Alright. So we're pretty decent, honestly. Uh, I'll have a look at our health in a minute. Yeah, look, we're taking only 79 damage now. And we was taking a couple hundred at first. Okay. All right, so pretty decent. Um, he is a little messed up, like, as you can see. His right arm is poking out. His left arm's a bit inside of him. Um, so obviously that just, that just needs fixing, but not a big problem. Are you normal, Baryonyx? I want to... Can I... Do, oh, you're not... Q. Damn it, Q's normally a move. R. Oh, I want to throw a rock at you. Oh, don't, don't find me, because you're just going to die now. Oh, I can't hit you. Swipe. Boom, see you later. All right, so what would I give you? So there's no Sarko at all in you. I'm not sure why it says there's a Sarko. So obviously that's going to lose your points. Mm, I'm going to give you a, a seven. I'm going to go for a seven for you. I just, there's no Sarko. Obviously your arm's a bit funky. Um, but you're still a decent looking creature. So seven. A seven for me, so we've got an 8.9 and a seven so far. Let's move on to the leech. So personally, this is the one I'm most excited for. I know a lot of you want to see the Reaper Basilisk one because that does sound cool, but personally, this is the one 
that I am the most excited for. So here we go. Create a scorpion, Verrazino, and a leech hybrid. This will have a hybrid called a Gymnopelix, a large bipedal scorpion with the <laughs> the head of a leech. This hybrid lives in a symbiosis with a leech with leech flea. Like I don't know what the frick that stuff means. Crossbreeds. The seemingly live, uh, seamlessly lives under an hour. They used to do collateral dot on a creature. Uh, that the gym packs by. Hmm. I wish I understood anything that said. So, a bipedal means it's on two feet, right? So, it's going to be the Verizino body. Leech head. Scorpion hands and tail? That'd be pretty cool. Maybe just a scorpion tail and keep the Verizino hands. Alright. I am most excited for this one because it's a freaking leech head. <laughs> ah, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Uh, oh, I saw the scorpion hands. Oh! I got it spot on! Y oh, God, don't look at me like that. Okay, that is some creepy nightmare shit right there. This is a chunky boy. You are. Oh, fallen. You are a chunky boy. Right, we just had a little issue of me just uh, plummeting like a rock everywhere. I couldn't fly. Um, yeah, this is exactly how I thought it would go. It does look a little bit, um, you know, like just things slapped together. There's no blending between the creatures that some of the other ones have. But that leech head, man, is creepy as shit. Do we need a saddle for you? We do. I'm going to guess it's a Verrazino one, right? It's going to be a Verrazino one. All right, well... Let's, uh, uh, things creeping. Let me go get the saddle, and we'll test this bad boy out. Okay, boom, got that on you. All right, I mean, you know what? It kind of looks cool. If the colors, hmm, I don't know, maybe if the colors were all dark green, it'd look a lot better. But, like, we're armor-plated. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so let's just go. Left click is the bite. Which looks really weird. God, I've never seen the leech so big, man. <laughs> right click. What noise is that? Is that a scorpion noise? I'm not sure. C. That's like a pickup. X. Alright, that is freaking creepy and I do not like it. What did that do? I'm not sure what that did, but that was horrible. Uh, control. Oh. You. All right, well, let's go and have a look then. So, Mr. Trike, you are a normal one. You are a low level as well. So, let's just do a bite. One fitter, right click. Oh, we do leech bleed. All right, so that's going to bleed out. Nice. I want to see, did, what was that X? Did that boosters? Regaining breath. Oh, I think they put our stamina up a lot. Alright, let's just have a look. We're really slow here. Probably shouldn't fight you. Can I fight Tail? Yeah, we can. Alright. I just want to keep running a minute because I want to see if that thing gives us stamina back. It says regaining breath, which sounds like it would, right? Let's just use all of this. Alright, here we go. X. Uh, I mean, it made a stamina shoot up, but that could have just been his resting. Interesting. Alright, Mr. Turtle. Sea attack. Um, just one damage. Okay. Why does it do one damage? <laughs> it didn't do top or anything, right? Oh, turtle. oh we've picked a turtle up! <gasps> we've got a little friend! This turtle is mine. Oh, that's cool! So you can pick smaller or like medium-sized creatures up and we can just take him about. Go on a little adventure with a turtle. Oh, that's amazing! Is there any other creature that does that? What the... Titties is that in the water? Okay, there's like a merman in the water. Alright, just in case. It's an alpha one as well. Just in case. I'm just gonna grab this a few. So like... Oh, we dropped him. Oh, I love that we can just pick him up. Look yeah, that merman. It's really cool and really creepy and I kind of want him. Unfortunately, we can't get him today. Alright, so right click. X. 
Oh, that noise is so creepy, man. Oh, it does. It does summon on you. Screeched. I just screeched at it. All right. All right. So this dude, honestly, is um, is half decent. I'm loving that pickup. Yeah, as I was going to say, I don't think any other land creature can pick stuff up, can it? I'm trying to, like, obviously there's, like, 300 or some creatures in Ark. Is there anything that can pick stuff up in its claws that's not a fryer? None that I can think of at the top of my head. All right, I'm going to give you a 9 just for that move. You are, like, all sorts of messed up bizarre creature. But, yeah, I'm going to give that a 9. I like that. That's the best one so far. All right, we are back for the big one then. So I'm down here near the water because this is uh, an aquatic creature. So create a basilisk repart eel hybrid. This will have a hybrid called a Levian constrictor, a huge sea serpent hybrid that is very agile for its size, can electrify its targets by making its body a giant electrical cord. We're going to have a massive sea serpent, so I'm glad it came around here then, so then we can actually release it into this deep bit of water. So the, I think all of the aquatic creatures have been pretty half decent, right? I can't really remember any uh, overly bad ones. Oh man, I am uh, I am excited for this. Let's let's go, Reaper, Basilisk, Eel. Here we go. Please, him. I don't need a saddle. Please, him. I don't need a saddle. Oh god, you are big. You don't need a saddle. Uh, all right, we're a little bit stuck. I think we should have gone lower in the water. Can I move it all? Am I gonna have to? Uh, Cry pod you up a second. All right. No worries. No worries. We'll do that again. No one saw your face, right? <laughs> so he summons above us. All right. Let's go. Chuck you out down here. Hey, that's better. All right. This dude looks mental. So we have, obviously, the basilisk body. But you can see the... Uh, don't you bite me, Prana. You're dead. You're dead, Prana. We have the Basilisk. Oh, God, I'm going to um, die of oxygen and stuff. You know what? Actually, this might help us up here a bit more. So, yeah. <laughs> Once again, Basilisk body, but you can see the eel stuff there. And you've obviously got all the reaper bits on its head, which make it look insane. Whatever's trying to eat me, please don't. God, we are strong. We have, like, a really cool face. You know what? I'm surprised Ark hasn't ever added a massive sea serpent. I know we, I know the snakes in the basses can swim, but there's no like long snaky water creature, is there? I look at this thing. This this suits arc. This needs to be an arc. See, we're like chunkier at the top, and then we get like skinnier down at the back. That's cool. Right, I'm gonna grab a scuba gear just so we don't have to keep coming up for air and stuff. All right, let's go. So we're not overly fast. <sighs> the swim movement as much as i hate snake swimming and it creeps me out it looks so like fluid and normal all right shark we're gonna fight you uh okay we're not doing very much damage which means you're a good shark uh you're stone megalodon interesting right click i'm not sure what that what what is blowing up that's not me right Wait, I'm suffocating. Wait, what? I put... Oh. I thought I put a scuba on. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, anyways, come back here. So, C, we just do a screech. What about a C attack? Oh, there's the electric. Is that electrocute you at all? Oh, he's like... La oh, he launches stones. Oh, is he trying to run away because of the screech? All right, well, let's go and fight someone else because that thing is just going to take all day to fight. So normally we're doing like 400 damage. Oh, metal. I don't want to fight a metal one because uh, and a frenzy. You know what? Can we just fight the lead sick for us? That would be great. Yeah, let's go and fight you. Are you a special shark? A beta water one? You know what? I don't care. We'll be able to fight you, right? Let's go and fight this dude. Nom. Oh, you're pink. Summit definitely just did a lot of damage to me then. Right, so right click. Does that scare things away? 
Oh, 100% damage bonus. Oh, shit. Oh, that's kind of crazy. So if you do your right click, you get 100%. So we're like, we doubled our damage. Oh, there's this shocking. Yo, this thing's mad. We're not doing too good. Apparently we're suffocating. Oh, we're also out of stamp. Crap. I've got the taxidermy, so we're okay. We can't go on land at all, right? No. Um, all right, Mr. Oh, ouchie. That, that hurts, sir. Oh, oh, that hurts a lot. All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to skedaddle. We're going to skedaddle. I can see Godzilla from over here. Um, all right, Basilisk. Good job. <laughs> but I don't want to fight that anymore. That was really scary. All right. Whew. Okay, get away from that. So, um, honestly, Basilisk and Reaper Eel would be kind of cool. If we weren't, if we were in the wars with normal creatures, you know, like more vanilla based stuff, like the hybrids are made towards, we would have no problem surviving down there. We, we would be the, the dominant, the alpha creature down there. And that thing looked freaking cool. All right, what I'm going to do, we're going to get back now. I'm going to pop them all into the taxidermies and stuff. Uh, oh, no. Well, things moving. going to pop them all into the taxidermies. And we'll have a look at them once again. Get out of here, Dodo. Don't make me slap you with a taxidermy, Mr. Zombie Dodo. But, uh, yeah, the, the uh, rating for the Basilisk, as a water creature goes, 10. I think that's the best water hybrid that we've had so far. Hands down, like easy actually. Not even, there's no even close call with that. So yeah, ten for that because it's a water one. Oh, you a stone tech trike? That's kind of crazy looking. All right, let me get back and we'll get this shit done. All right, we're back and we've placed uh, three of the four creatures because unfortunately the one I really wanted to display, the Basilisk, doesn't work. It just doesn't appear. I've tried all the different taxidermies, sizes, rotations. It doesn't appear. I was hoping it would be a nice long uh, snake shape and I could have uh, put it in the middle of a room like we did with the Diplo. Uh, so we can't have that one. And also, the Giga and the UT1 are freaking massive, so I couldn't put them into a normal uh, one like these, so we've had to make them bigger, but I've managed to work with it. So, here is the Giga. He's going to chill just uh, here as you uh, come down. It's going to be one of the first ones you see. It looks like he's uh, peering over his like little enclosure, which uh, honestly looks pretty sick, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, that's where he goes. It doesn't look like he has his broken shoulder here. Which is uh, good. And then we have the UT1 just here again. That must be similar to this one because this had some UT in it. So yeah, there's some creatures that if they if they use that certain rig or blueprint, they're just kind of massive. So this is as small as I can make it. Same with that Giga. When they were put on their normal size, they were like touching the thatch roof. So uh, that is the UT Snarl, dude. And then, luckily, I was able to put the leech in here. This one, for some reason, was really small. So that's as big as I can make the leech, dude. Um, he was tiny when I popped him on there. But, uh, yeah, we should be able to, you know, surround him by some other creatures because there is a, a handful of them left. So what did I see then? You got, I think you got an, a nine because you could pick stuff up. So that got a 9. I did like that. Uh, I think we gave the UT Snow an 8.9 because you were just kind of alright. It was solid. The Giga, I think I'm giving an 8. Maybe a 7.9 actually. I think I might put that as a 7.9. And then the Basilisk, 10. The Basilisk had to get a 10 because the water creatures we had so far are actually in here, aren't they? These are my war ones. So he was decent. Shulk's a bit near. That dude was a bit near. So, yeah, I reckon, yeah, I reckon the Basilisk would have got 10. Yeah, I'd have loved to do the Basilisk like this, dude. Have him a long way, but I'd have had him in the middle of that new room we had. But there we go, then. So, four more done. Uh, let's have a quick ganders, actually, um, what else we've got left. I think it's legit just, like, the big main ones. Um, so, we've done them. Herbivores. 
we've done that one, right? We did that one, we've done that. Uh, I think, is it just type 1s then? So we need to do a T-Rex and a Microraptor. T-Rex and a Spino. Uh, I think we've done the Scorpion one. We've got any other crazy ones? Quetzalcoatl, a, a Rock Golem. Lyplorodon, a Lead Sigfius. Uh, I think we did all these ones, right? A Dodic and a Bronto, I think we still need to do. Uh, I kind of get mixed up, like I don't know what I need. Oh, we need to do the Wyverns as well. We can definitely do the Wyverns. And then, and then, and then, and then, I think it's just these two Operation ones. Operation Exo, Operation Urban Fear. So, we may be able to do... I don't know if we'll do them all in one episode, but maybe there's two more hybrid episodes left. I want to do one more uh, SCP and uh, obviously get the last of the Godzilla creatures. And then that's probably this series being wrapped up then. So... If you did enjoy the episode, make sure you're whacking a like on the video. Make sure you are subscribing as well. Put your ratings for the creatures down below. I do like to see everyone's opinions on them. See, like, who agrees with me and who disagrees and stuff. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for hanging out. And I will catch you all in a bit. See you later.